Mr. Verbeck, welcome to our media box. So you are Vice President of the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities and on the occasion of the World Forum for Democracy in Council of Europe, today you participate in the discussions on countering radicalization. So what are your first impressions on the discussions in this topic? Uh, it was interesting to see how interested the people were uh, visiting this seminar. Uh, there was quite a debate also with the audience, so it was a very nice meeting, I think. Uh, though there were some critics too. And you have an extensive knowledge on this topic, we can say, because you are also a Congress reporter on radicalization hmm. issues. So what is the Congress uh, doing in this field? I just come back from the, the Congress we had in Aarhus in Denmark. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of our activities we do as a Congress of local and regional authorities. There we gather mayors and civil servants who work on the radicalization and exchange experiences. It was a wonderful experience. It was very successful. Mm -hmm. And what would you like to say about the situation now in Europe? Because we see what's going on, especially attacks, uh, terrorist attacks which happened in Paris. Uh, in, so uh, how can European countries can tackle with radicalization? What could you like to say? This is not a short-term policy. I believe this must be a long-term policy. Uh, at the same time, we we must not intermingle that uh, immigrants or people who flee from radicalization are not radicalized themselves. That's a different chapter. Uh, if we want to be battle with the radicalization, we have to work on inclusion of people. People who are excluded of society, they radicalize and do dangerous things. Mm -hmm. So is it really possible to live together in a society, so sometimes maybe under treat, uh, and if possible, what are your um, suggestions on that point? I, I often say that we have to realize that uh, the bio biodiversity of nature is huge, and the biodiversity of people is huge too, and the biodiversity of languages is huge, and the biodiversity of what food we eat is huge. Mm -hmm. And the biodiversity of religions is huge. This is a normal situation. We do not have to be the same, all of us. Uh, we must learn to accept the diversity of people. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Rerick. Thank you very much. Thank you.